Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick haul video today. So today is more related to food. Um, so yeah, I just went back from a mall because I had to do a dentist appointment and I figured I might as well buy food or snacks because I'm a big snacky. Um, but anyways, stupid part is I had to spend at least 10 bucks, otherwise I'd be charging an extra dollar on my debit card, so it's like whatever. Um, so first off I got, um, were Oshi prawn crackers, spicy flavored. So I originally bought four of these, but I ended up eating two bags in a day, which is bad because it, like, destroys your throat, like, badly. But otherwise they're pretty good, so if you guys haven't seen these before, um, so pretty much they're just, um, sort of little cracker shapes. They're, like, um, in a small little form, that's a cracker. It's pretty much tastes like... Well, in this case, it's spice flavored. Um, you're supposed to have some type of shrimp taste to it, but you don't really notice it. But mostly, you just notice it's chili pepper. So I got two, um, four bags of these. It's supposed to be four for two dollars, but over here is only like a buck worth because I ate two bags. So yeah, Oshi prawn crackers. Then I also got this. This was like on a last minute um, checkout thing because I want to at least spend 10 bucks. So I haven't had these in a while. I'm actually surprised I even bought this. So it's um, dollar fifty. So I don't know how to read this, like the actual title, but they're pretty much just baby cookies. So these things are um, made sort of like for baby cookies, like sort of for kids. I remember eating them when I was maybe six or five. I remember I would use them as like fuel for a toy car for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but they pretty much just taste like little pieces of cake. So imagine like eating small piece, um, a slice of cake, but in like small miniature crunchy form, and it has this nice vanilla aftertaste to it. That's pretty much what these taste like. So yeah, baby cookies. Yeah. So not too bad. I remember eating them all the time when I was younger, except my mom stopped buying them because they stopped selling them in like a big enough pack like these. But they were really cheap, so that's good. Then I also got pretz. So pretz. Um, four pack, pack of four, it was about two bucks. So pretty much, if you guys don't know what pretz are, pretz are pretty much just biscuit sticks. Literally, it says on it, biscuit sticks. So they're little, t um, if you guys had like Pringles sticks or something, Pringle sticks, they're essentially the same thing that they copied pretz from. They're little mini, um, sticks made of, well, like bread sort of. And then this one, in this case, is flavored to taste like, um, sort of like Italian spice. But this one's more with... Not really a tomato, but it's more like a gardening taste that you can't can't really describe it. It's more of a gardening taste, but when you eat it, it's really good. So yeah, I got pretz. And then the final thing is, um, I got this weird panda thingy. This thing also cost two bucks. I thought it was pretty cute. Uh, I might be giving away one of these when I get back. So if you guys want to see one of these in a giveaway, probably I might be giving away one of these, but depending on it. So. Um, I can't really read it either. It's just, I noticed it was in the cookie aisle. It just cost two bucks. And it looked pretty cute. Mostly because they have panda shaped. And hopefully I don't eat all of them. I'll just bring them to the zoo when I get to see the panda. So the pretty much just panda uh, made by Kabaya. It's a Japanese company that manufactures all these uh, random, random, like really random foods. But they're really good. And uh, this one's pretty much just panda cookies, shaped like a panda, as you've seen. And um, some of them have a chocolate on it, and some of them are frosted to look like a panda, but on strawberry cookie. So here's just the readings, and yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be, gonna be doing an unboxing of this. You guys won't see an unboxing of that, but I'm pretty sure these are common enough that you don't really see them. But maybe doing an unboxing of this later and show you guys what's pretty much inside and give you a small review. But other than that, that's my random little small haul video. Uh, I'm gonna be a lot busy with school, so hopefully I can maybe go shopping once in a while, even if it's just for food like this. But yeah. Other than that, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I try to make something new every single day, but I doubt that's happening with this summer. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.